Hey, it's the one Ed. I just wanted to do a really quick video actually because I'm, I'm genuinely curious about this actually. I don't know. Uh, so I did this tool a while ago which is just running on GitHub at the 3D COVID visualization tool. I did it with FreeJS. It basically takes the amount of cases from uh, gov.uk's data on the new cases of COVID and maps it into 3D uh, and then you can just basically get a visual representation of the amount of uh, COVID cases reported for that day, basically. And it does it for the last 50 days. Uh, I've already done a video talking about how I did that. You can just watch this separately on the channel if you want. I guess the only question I've got, though, is that... Uh, so, I don't know... I don't really understand how this is reported. So, look, if you look, this is this is today's... This is, uh, yeah... I don't know, it's quite recently, so it's like a few days ago. I think like the API is a few days behind. Uh, the, the data source is a few days behind. Uh, like they have to check it, I guess, every time when they report new cases. So they're like, this is from the 27th, so that was the 31st today. So this is from uh, four days ago or so. Um, so as you can see here, there's a lot of cases. Each dot here represents I think it's a thousand no, probably more actually maybe like ten thousand cases I can't remember exactly what the number was but it just gives you a quick like visual representation of the amount of new cases of COVID. So for example if I go but then the weird thing I've noticed is if I go to here it goes to Z, now this might be a bug in my software I'm not hundred percent sure but if I go back further back we've got new cases uh a hundred that that number so, like, there's a weird discrepancy here. Like, I don't know if this is to do with how gov.uk reports the data. Not zero, zero, zero. Right, for the whole month, it's just like zero. So I don't know if they just... I'm not sure if they're just basically reporting... Like, there's, there's tons of this one. Look, it's even... It's, it's my GPU's struggling with this one. Look how many cases are there. That is, that is terrifying, obviously, if you look at that. But then, like, nothing for... Uh, so it's just, I don't know if they're like changing the way that they're reporting COVID, but it seems like there's just like nothing for ages. And then suddenly, there's just like, this is like back in um, last month, June. So it's quite stable, 9,217. Uh, but it seems to have just exploded recently, but it's only on one day that's actually been reported. And then days and days of no no new cases reported at all, which is like that. Like just to me, that's quite strange. I don't know why that is. And like it's definitely pulling the data because I mean I might be able to check it. Let me just quickly check. It's pull, I still think it's pulling the data. So basically, I just wanted to ask: uh, Does anybody like know why this is happening? Uh, it's like yeah, it's like literally pulling in all this data. This is all the data it pulls in basically from, you, from uh, the uh, gov.uk. Well, if anyone from gov.uk watches this, why is this? Why is it reported that way? I'm just genuinely interested. I'm not being conspiratorial or anything. I'm just like genuinely interested. Why is that? So you look, this is the data set here, for example. I just make this a bit bigger. So this is actually where the data that's been pulled from uh, gov.uk. Uh, it's data set. So we've got nothing, 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 nothing. And then new cases there, like, so this is from what? Uh, yeah, it's just, it's like, well, let's go about further. So it's like still pulling all the loads. Uh, what is that for? It's like, it's 20. I don't know. Maybe there's a logical explanation for this. I'm not sure, but, and it could also be my code bugging out. But like, well, actually, like, if you look, so there's like, that there, I don't know what that plays like zero in between. So, may, is this something to do with like uh, are they reporting like the um, zero? Look, like here, there's tons. Like, if you look at if you look back here, there's actually like it, it seems pretty consistent. I don't know if it's just that they're uh, reporting new cases, like they're having days where they don't report new cases or something. Because if you look here, like it's a huge number there, and I guess that accounts for these old. These other days? I mean, how does it work? I, I am genuinely interested. What is the discrepancy here between, uh, you know, there's just like, there seems to have, a gap seems to have started in the data from, 
I'm going to assume from about um, the yeah, it's like in July basically it started to go. It's from basically yeah, so from well February it starts a bit actually. Let's see where it seems to start. So yeah, I'm just generally curious. Does anybody know why that is? Like why why uh, we start to have days where there's no new cases at all? I mean, I guess it literally means that nobody, no one's reporting any new cases. But it just seems a bit odd that you'd have, what, like a six-day run of no new cases at all. And then, I mean, yeah, 800, like 800,000 basically uh, reported cases in a day. Like, that just seems a bit weird. So like, I'm just really interested. You can check this out. It's on... Dr. Noir, github.io, 3D COVID visualization. I know it's not very um, memorable. Uh, maybe we should get this hosted, actually. I mean, it's literally just a uh, HTML page with some JavaScript, from what I remember. I might host it up somewhere. I mean, it's probably quite useful to look through. But if you want to actually look through the data set yourself, I mean, this is constantly changing. It'll be updated tomorrow with uh, the 28th uh, data. But... Yeah, just asking that question. I don't, I don't know what the answer is to that question. I'm just, uh, I just had a quick. I got tagged on Twitter um, of a thread about cases, and um, so I'm just generally interested. Why is that a, that a discrepancy between, you know? So like, if we go back to it here, there's like the huge. Like I said before, there's this huge one. Like, look how big that is. That is that like, compared to like zero to that, just an explosion. Uh, I mean, I'm, not, I'm trying not to induce anxiety in anybody, but that is quite a that's quite a shift from, and it really just helps to visualize it if you actually look at it this way because you can just see like that's a huge difference even from then. And if we compare it maybe to this, is only goes about 50 days, but I can even think it goes about further. But yeah, anyway, I'll leave it at that. Um, and uh, yeah, anybody know? Why? Sorry, pardon me. Anybody know why? Why that's why that is? I mean, I, like I like I said, I'm, I'm just a developer who made this in my spare time as a side project. It's been online for about a year, I think. But uh, it's just a bit odd, that right? <laughs> anyway, I'll just leave it at that. To be honest.